Everything started when my niece Jackie called me. She said the police had finally located her parents' bodies. They had been missing for 20 years. I went to the police station to support her. Here we are, miss. Auntie, can you believe they actually found them? Maybe I can finally get some closure. Let's go. The sheriff's waiting for us. Miss Gray, it's nice to finally meet you. As Jackie told you, we've located the remains of Alexander and Natalia Gray. We can now prove they were victims of Greg Duffy, a serial killer who was active here at that time. This is everything I've gathered about the case. Take a look. Alexander and Natalia Gray went missing on April 23rd, about 20 years ago now. They're survived by their daughter Jackie. The Gray's car was found in the woods close to town. Four teenage witnesses were camping nearby when they heard a car followed by a woman screaming. The Gray's car was found in the woods close to town. The Gray's tires were punctured by a spike strip found nearby. We also found tire tracks near their car, likely from a large truck. These circumstances perfectly match the other victims. We also have camera footage showing a man. Thankfully, Jackie was staying with family at the time of the incident. We got a clear picture of the killer, thanks to a recording taken at a gas station in town that night. We quickly identified the suspect as Greg Duffy, who lived in a small house in the woods and sent a squad to apprehend him. What we found there haunts me to this day. Duffy was obsessed with hunting and his weapon of choice, but Duffy hunted people, not deer. He used his spike. Unfortunately, Duffy wasn't at home. To this day, the roadside killer has never been caught. This is the only photo we have of him. I heard about your gift, Miss Gray. Can you really travel to the past just by touching an item from that time? These car keys were found with the remains. We believe they may have belonged to the Greys. My parents didn't deserve to die, Auntie. If you can, please save them. They ran over that spike strip, and now their tires are flat. There's a truck approaching in the distance. Could it belong to the roadside killer? The case file mentioned teenage witnesses who were camping nearby. That's probably their campsite ahead. Maybe they have a vehicle I can use to reach town?
It is their destiny to die. <laughs> 